Do you want to introduce people who you are? My name is Ryan Moore. Okay. Director of Marketing at uh, Concept Control. Right. Here's the five dollar twenty dollar. Can you describe to the audience uh, the net and the width? Are they the same? Are they different? Uh, can you describe who the manufacturer is? <laughs> so the uh, the bills are about the size of a the same size, but the size of a of an iPhone. Um, they're manufactured uh, using high quality, high tech paper. Um, they look very similar. Lots of security features. Yeah, so the other security features. Uh, made by the same company. Yeah, yeah. who's the company that made them? Well, yeah, I would assume they're made by the same company, yes. Uh, Bank of Canada. Bank of Canada. Yeah. There's um, features on there such as. Uh, you, you want to hold both of the shirt? People can see the difference. So they're very similar. You can see the security features. Uh, there's also uh, Braille on the bill. So if you're visually impaired, you can tell the difference between a 20 and a 5. You can tell by color. Um, so here's a question I want to ask you guys. Between the two bills, which one would you pick? Now remember, the manufacturer is the same. The length and the width are the same. So there's two chairs. The manufacturer is the same. The length and the width are the same. Anybody disagree with the manufacturer being different? Anybody says the length and the width is different? So, so the manufacturer is the same. The length and the width are the same. Which of the two would you pick? Taking 20 bucks. 20? 20? Every time, of course. For what purpose? That's the <laughs> you, You're going to pick. Which one? Good, good question. For what purpose? Yeah. Because, you, you, because I asked you to pick one. And you're going to so, pick one. So choose one. your one. Choose pick one. You're the high value. Now, why would, you, why would you take the one that's 20? Because it's worth more. You all worth more? Okay. okay. I think the $5 one. Because you guys won't believe it. You keep asking me over and over. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So here's what I want you to consider. I want you to consider that you perceive you gave you give more of a perception value to the twenty dollar one than you do to the five dollar one. It's just a perception. Does that make sense? Yeah. So as you listen to the focus groups, my invitation for you is to listen to the emotions that are worth twenty bucks. See, there's some problems I have that if you fix for me, it's worth five bucks. And there's a whole bunch of other problems for me that if you fix for me, it's worth 20 bucks. If you give me a consulting job, I will love you forever, five bucks. My father has got cancer, that's worth 20 bucks. You see the difference? So as you hear them, listen for the $20 emotion. What is the day we're willing to pay 20 bucks for? Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. So I want to introduce you to a concept I learned at university called dialectic. <laughs> um, ben is, I, I'm, I'm now an employee of, uh, ben, what's your company? Moneygate? Moneygate. Money I'm now an employee of Moneygate. How many guys are employees of companies? And then, you know, you get that new boss and somehow you don't like the new boss. What do we do when we don't like the new boss? Tell them. Tell Okay, what, what else do we do? Complain about Okay, what else do we do? Leave. Leave. In fact, the only one of the most reasons why people leave their company or quit their company is not to do with the company, so they can't stand the boss. Typically, right? So typically as a human being, I want you to consider this, is when you and I see a situation that we get uh, confronted by, what you and I do as human beings is leave that situation. You you could say that that's just me, would you agree? So the dialectic theory, where you may have come across it in university, says A plus B equals C. And we've guys heard that, A plus B equals C. So, if you could go to the next slide, what A stands for is pieces. So when I'm at university with you, and I'm taking a class with you, you and I are learning a lot of pieces. 
And what B stands for is what we call the antithesis. It's the experience of something. And what C stands for is what you call the synthesis. A plus B equals C. And it has you to be a one to the So, um, I'm not the new box. You don't like me. You and me have major disagreements. There's something I do confronts you. Now, in this example, I'm using the box. You could use it as a market situation, business situation, whatever it is. Right? Where's Ben? Ben, don't go away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking for 20 bucks. All right. So, what Ben does is he decides that whatever it is that he's getting confronted by, the, the data he got, the issue he's got, he doesn't like it. He's going to walk away. What she does is she says, I went to one of these innovation workshops that I made acts of innovation and I learned A plus B equals C. So this thing that I don't like and I'm getting confronted by, I'm actually going to take it on. Okay? So you can hold my hand. And you go this way. And you go that way. So we both, they both are confronted by the same issue, but she decides to take on A plus B equals C as a synthesis. He decided he's going to quit and go to something else. Which one of us do you think, do you think she is more mastery at something or he? Which are looking? She asks, right? So could you see that if you take on something that you don't understand, something that you may get confronted by, like Microsoft technology, as an example, but if you decide to take it on, which one do you think will be strong versus avoiding it? Do you see the difference? Thank you.